This should be a good one. Night Game Vibes, Dark Specta versus Revamp. What are you expecting, Lou? I'm not sure what I'm expecting. Should be a good ball game. We are underway. Yeah, it is a loud one here. Absolute pandemonium. Yeah, I was not expecting the, the crowd to be as loud as they are. The glass on the roof is rattling. Yeah, they brought it tonight. Let's see how they open up here. Under center. Oh, the give to uh, Singleton. Quick little give there. Only got two, but I like the play call. That looked, that was just yeah, looked faster I mean, was than normal. Kind of, like a, kind of a strange uh, footwork by the quarterback. It didn't look like he was necessarily going to the halfback. All right, so here it is, second and eight. We're going to see a uh, four-man spread. The give's going to be the singleton, though, out of the shotgun. He's going to push a guy for about four yards. He's going to bring up a third and four here. Crowd got a little Good bit quieter here. Go ahead. Yeah, getting some tough yards. Crowd, crowd's kind of holding their breath in anticipation of this third down. Third and four here. Changes some things. Uh huh. Play action. Throws to Mega. Ten yards for the first. Say it's either him or Wallace, right? 50 <laughs> 50 chance. <laughs> Moody Mega this time. Nice catch in traffic. Gets the first down. Keeps yeah. this drive alive. Eminem is also a threat out there. Don't forget about him. As he showed it there on that big third down catch. New set of downs here for CV as he's under center. He's going to give it to Singleton. He's going to weave around a man, avoid the TFL, and pick up one. Yeah, nice initial cut. Um, and then he's met in the hole, unable to get around that, that defender. I mean, maybe the real story is that Miami's still number two in the mm. country. <laughs> yeah, we saw Syracuse's schedule. That was laughable. The give under center is going to be to Singleton on the stretch, who gets caught up in some traffic. Oddly enough, still picks up four, Lou. Mm hmm. Good push up front. Does a nice job of getting right on his lineman's ass and getting every yard, every inch he can. He gets out of that rip tie, but he had nice little running lane there, it looked like. But uh, that happens. Sometimes those rip ties pull you in. Oh, yeah, Vaughn. Revamp's putting up definitely 80 against Syracuse. No doubt about it. Third and four here. <clears throat> CV's going to be uh, in the shotgun with four wide receivers. Nick Singleton to his direct right. Here we go. He's going to immediately roll out. He's getting chased. Two stars. One of them is probably Specta chasing Specta, and with the one hand, it catches Eminem. Wow, what a grab, Lou. That was. <laughs> he comes through again on third down. He's calling the third down God. Two massive catches on third down. That one one handed. He's just showing off at this point. Yeah, great play to be there. Yeah, good and throw. State, not afraid to stretch the field. Good job by CB to stop, get his feet. And, man, the way he got it off before getting hit was amazing. And there's that play again. This time it works. Makes two guys miss. Got 12 on it that time. Nice to not abandon it and go back to it. Yeah, I mean, it's, you're right. It's a nice, quick-hitting play, but I almost want to call it a delayed handoff. I mean, the quarterback kind of rolls or spins away from 
from the back and then like slips it in when he's almost past him. So really nice use of that play. I agree. It almost has draw vibes, but mm -hmm. nothing doing there really. Good penetration by that nasty, nasty Miami D line who we haven't really spoke on yet, but <laughs> we will soon. Yeah, they inevitably will make their presence well mm -hmm. known here. Yeah. I want to see a little goal line out of the offense. Got the bigs on bigs here. We're going to see a toss to the right. You know who is out there, but gets kind of shoved by the tight end, maybe. So it forces him back inside. Doesn't get the touchdown, but still gets three. Yeah, great job by this Miami defense to hold tough there and keep him out. I can't believe, you know, that they were able to hold that spot. So we're going to see the fake. Play action fake. <sighs> Threw a risky pass there. I don't know if he didn't see the defender or just didn't have anything else to throw. Lives to see another day, though. Fourth and goal from the one now. <clears throat> I mean, you almost have to go for it here, right? Got the crowd behind you. You're at home. I, I think I think so. I think the crowd really would want to see it. Um, I mean, it doesn't even look like the one. It looks like the half yard line. Look at that, Lou. Yeah. I mean, that thing is touching the goal line right now. All right, we're going to go spread four. Singleton to his right. Oh, Singleton made the most amazing blitz pickup, Lou. He saved yeah, okay. the day. It's a great cut. <laughs> Watch this on the replay. Nick Singleton, my God. This is the play of the game so far. No. Deep. CV was dead. Opens the door wide. CV was dead. He absolutely was. Singleton's a bodyguard. What a save. Oh, man. That was... a four-minute drive to start this ball game. Yeah, exciting for the fans. Two huge third-down conversions. One's on a one-handed catch. A fourth-down conversion. I mean, they had all the stops. See how the Hurricanes respond here. Deep kick. Very deep. I didn't catch the wind. Not sure if it was wind dated, but either way, yeah, that was nice. The drive will start here at the 25. And Dyke in the shotgun. The Heisman hopeful right by him. Who gets it? Who just kind of shimmies some guys off. Somehow keeps his balance. That was an interesting run, Lou. Yeah, it looked like he did a little wax on, wax off. <laughs> and, you know, then just kind of slid to the outside for a few more yards. Man. One time Ralph Macchio is on... Uh, <laughs> hard knocks. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, all right. Yeah, that was just a very patient run by Cheney. Van Dyke's going to be under center this time. He's going to give it to Cheney on the stretch. He's going <laughs> to shimmy around a chasing defender who thought he was in a foot race to the sideline. I saw balance. Mm hmm. Cheney is not easy to bring down. There's also a threat in the passing game. Yeah, he keeps getting better and better. Real dangerous weapon. 
And this Miami Hurricane offense is full of them. Mm-hmm. Yep. United States Army. A lot of weapons. Cheney on the counter. Well defensed by uh, Penn State. First tackler brings down Cheney. Still gets four, but that's very rare. Yeah, it gets four yards on first down. Doesn't feel like a ton, but... It's enough to keep moving the sticks. Mm -hmm. Yep. Miami not afraid to stack them up all day long. Van Dyke, three wide. Cheney in his hip. Fleur Jr. in motion. Screen to Cheney. He's got it. He's got. He's outran his blocker. Unfortunately, did the hezzy. Got twenty. Wanted more, though. Yeah, the defender flew in there. He did a nice job to avoid the one, but the rest of the D-line defense was able to catch up after that. Mm-hmm. Everyone loves a good step back. All right, and I just got two, count them, two tight ends, baby. I'm going to put one in motion. The give's going to be to Parrish, who's going to go where the motion went, on the counter, get seven. Nice little run. Parrish in to give uh, Cheney a breather, I'm sure. Yeah, and Parrish, uh, really good back in his own oh, right. Oh, man. If they only knew, that dude could probably start in every other NWO team. Mm -hmm. All right, second and three here for Van Dyke. He's going to throw Arroyo in motion. Break up the dual tights on that side. Cheney's going to run that way. He's going to make one guy miss. going to put his shoulder into another guy and get about three. It's going to be third and in inches. This might be the last play of the first quarter. Yeah, good effort by Cheney. One defender there did a nice job of getting off his block. Stonewalling Cheney. <laughs> All right. Van Dyke going strong under center. He's going to give it to his fullback. He's going to get three. Khalil Brantley, the first down. Good tough run inside. Really quick handoff. Really short, like, starting point for that fullback. Yeah, he was from kind of an up position. Mm -hmm. Takes the quick dive. Everything's fast at Miami. This should definitely be the last play of the first quarter. I guess pending an incompletion in three seconds. Van Dyke's going to go through the screen, though. Cheney got a blocker. That's all he needs. He's going to just crawl on in for a 15-yard touchdown. It's the bread and butter of that Miami offense right there, and it works. Yeah, well set up play there. Had the numbers on the screen. Got the blocks. Made it look really easy. Mm-hmm. Even when, you know nice finish the quarter. Even when you know it's coming, it's hard to stop. Mm -hmm. All square after one. Seven to seven. Nice drive by Miami. Quieted this crowd, took some time off the clock. We'll see what Penn State here does with the ball. Yeah, let it be, let it be known that they're certainly not going away. Mm-mm. Oh, sir. Just getting deafening here, though. This crowd really into it. Yeah, maybe this crowd letting Miami know they're not going away either. All right. 
Back to on that D line's been pretty quiet. We'll see if that changes here. See if he's gonna be under center and he's gonna do that quick handoff to uh, Singleton who gets three this time. Yeah, nice three yards. Yeah, his average is lingering around four. That's right where you want to be at a running back. Mm-hmm. Singleton been a, has been a good workout, workhorse for this team. They've relied a lot on the pass with Wallace and Mega. So Rogers is going to jump up and snag that little floater by CV. I don't know if he wanted to throw that ball. Probably would like to have that one back. And... Big mistake there for Penn State. Tragic. Indeed, as Miami takes over, good starting field position for Penn State 39. As we're gonna see Penn State just blow that play up for a negative four yard loss. You never see Cheney get that backed up. No, 43 was in there right away, backed him right up. Uh, looks like a Troy Palomalu play. Let's see if uh, his defense can stand up and get this ball back for their offense. Second 14, LeFleur in middle motion. The fake's going to be to him. It's going to be an out to Restrepo. He's going to circle back around, make one man miss, make another man miss. A couple more miss, but finally about eight lines pounce on him. Not after he gets 28, though. Good play by uh, Restrepo. Nice rack. Yeah, really nice play by Restrepo. Um, caught that ball for about 10, 11 yards and could have been tackled right th at that spot. <laughs> yeah, could have, would have, should have, huh? And I pulled out all the moves. And I see he had a lot of them. All right, first and 10. Hurricanes, the floor in motion. Van Dyke out of the shotgun. He's going to find Pimpchino wide open on the uh, corner out there. 15 there are touchdown. Miami responds quickly. Yeah, Pimpchino is the big reliable tight end. And you see just how dangerous the Hurricane offense can be. Yeah, and how dangerous turnovers and points off turnovers can be. The Mitney Lions will receive the kick here with five and a half minutes to go. Second quarter. I want to see this one just get sail out of the end zone. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of room to return that. You have to jump up and get it. Yeah, CV's got to shake off that interception and get back to business here. He's got the home crowd behind him. He's got weapons. And they're going to come out firing Lou. Five wide. Mm -hmm. Got the nation's leader on his left. He's going to roll out left. He's going to stop, not get rid of it in time, and he's going to get sacked for seven-yard loss, second and 17. Hakeem Mesidor on the uh, sack there. No pun intended, but that was just a hurricane of defenders there. There was could have gave that sack to about anybody. Yeah, I think five wide, you know, <laughs> kind of plays into a lot of their strengths. Um, the rushers really get to pin their ears back a little bit more. All right, so we're going four wide. Singleton's back in the game, in the backfield anyway. CV sidesteps, you know who. Hits his man, very nice throw. Good pocket presence there, 14 yard reception. 
Yeah, good little snag by Montgomery. Able to turn up field. Um, leaves you with a third and manageable here. Penn State really looking to answer after Miami scored off the turnover on the last series. All right, CV, shotgun, changing a few things. Taking his time, letting the play clock click down, tick down. And he finds his uh, his tight end again, Montgomery. No, that's not yeah, his that's tight end. Montgomery again. I think he's the other receiver. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the fourth receiver, or is he number two? Let's look. He could be their actual one. No, it's Mega and seven. Mega Sanders Wallace. He's number four. Ron Montgomery. That's his second catch here. Not bad out of your fourth receiver. The give's going to be to Singleton. He had a plethora of blockers up front. Looked like maybe six down linemen. Somehow Montgomery gets through and gets that TFL. Yeah, it's a Montgomery type of series. They got him on offense. They got him mm -hmm. on defense. They're starting to show up everywhere. All right, Penn State, second and 11, out of the shotgun. Oh, the give is a singleton who makes a great cut in the backfield to avoid the TFL. Gets gobbled up after he picks up seven. What a run. Yeah, working hard. Brings up third and four. Montgomery picks this one off. Shit, Montgomery steps in front of that, picks that off. Wow. He had a really good pocket, Lou. He had time. Maybe just lasered it too low, too hard. Montgomery took yeah, a good angle and jumped in front of it. So that's CV's second interception here. Last time they got a touchdown off of it. We'll see what they do here. Cheney on the counter. He's going to shut off the uh, incoming cornerback. Pick up 11. That's going to be a first down. Move the chains. Good tough run. Cheney's always reliable. State really needs a hold here. Miami gets the ball at half also. So that will come into play. Smith in motion. Van Dyke under center is going to give to Cheney on the stretch who just mauls through some Lions to pick up four somehow. What a run. That was just a legs churning powerful run. Yeah, I mean, that's how this offense is built. All right, but Van Dyke's going to take this one under center this time. It's going to take under two minutes here. Smith in motion. Pocket closed quick. He gets it out quick to the motion man, Smith. I believe that's Keyshawn's first, yep, first reception. Brings up a third in inches. That was a really close spot. Good pressure on the quarterback on that play. Extremely. He had no time. Yeah, Van Dyke showing excellent awareness and reflexes. Gets rid of it. Nick of time. Yeah, he's got that poise. That's for sure. 
you know, trips right, Lafleur left all by himself, Chaney in the backfield, single back, and Dyke under center. It's going to be a pass on third and inches to Piccino. Going to get 10. Look like maybe a little drag route, a little slant. Came across the field, flashed open, Van Dyke found him. Yeah, nothing flashy right there. Working the tight end, getting him in a nice soft spot. Four wide, Van Dyke out of the shotgun. Cheney's going to get the give, and he's going to wiggle through his lineman. Get about eight as the clock's going to tick, second and two. Well blocked up front. Cheney does a nice job of taking what's given there. Yeah, his patience is on another level. Mm-hmm. Miami's ran it 10 times, six passes. So we're going to see run number 11 to Cheney on the counter, and he's got nothing but pay dirt. Touchdown, Hurricanes. Good job by the offense. Let's work the way down the field. Yeah, yet again, recapping on a turnover. Points off turnovers, mm -hmm. absolutely massive. That's 14 for Miami. They're going to have 43 seconds. They got all their timeouts. But how shook is CV? That's a good question. And Miami has timeouts too if they, you know. Yeah, they need the Christian from that first drive back who was just throwing some dotties. Mm -hmm. Especially on third down. Yeah, they almost need to have success early and often on this series. <laughs> See what he does. Crowd's still in his favor. They are allowed here. We're going four wide. Nick on his right, probably a blocker. Yep. He's going to throw it into double coverage, and it's going to get picked off. I believe that. I'm not sure who that was. Yeah, nice play on the ball. Went up and high pointed it. Miami free safety is none other than Sean Taylor Jr. I believe that was him with the picky picky. Yeah, the only problem with that throw is you give them time to score yet again. Mm -hmm. And then get the ball back and score yet at, again. At midfield. <laughs> As all. Oh, ooh! A blitzer unaccounted for gets to Van Dyke, but somehow gets the ball out of his hands and they rule it an incompletion. That would have been a scoop and score, Lou. That changes this game. Yeah, very favorable, incomplete call. Um, <laughs> Allegedly. I'm not sure what receiver was in the area. But that's the game. Mm -hmm. It's always been like that. It's like that for everybody. <laughs> Miami, full pocket of timeouts. 34 seconds. Play clock taken down. Van Dyke from the shotgun. And he's going to launch it. Not into double coverage. Wide open LeFleur. Not a man within 10 yards. Touchdown, Miami. 21 points off turnovers, Lou. Mm -hmm. Speedy receiver shrieks down the sideline. Release for the win for Gucci LeFleur here. Wow. He was eight, ten yards in front of that cornerback. Mm -hmm. Yikes. In my Gucci flip-flops. Woo. So 
28, 7. 28 seconds. Interesting. It's Penn State still three timeouts. 28 unanswered from Miami. <laughs> we try warning you, Specta. <laughs> we try warning you, mm -hmm. PM. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Let's see if Penn State can make the best, most, whatever out of this 28 seconds here. Got none to lose at this point. Maybe time to try new players, try new plays, a little bit of both. Get some freshmen out there. Got a whole second half to play with. Bad snap, but CV wrangles her. He's going to stop and pop, but you know who is going to pop right in front of it. Yeah, it looked like that throw was intended for you know who. This Miami secondary is no fly zone. Not a good half for CV. We've all been there. <laughs> yeah, Penn State to take a time out. Get the right players on the field here. Can't take it with you. See Specta, still got something to shoot for. Van Dyke, out of the shotgun. He's gonna throw one deep. Should have been picked off by Kalen King, but he can't wrangle it in. Still makes a very nice play on a ball. Van Dyke maybe kind of under threw that a little bit, Lou. What are your thoughts? Yeah, he left it in a spot where the defender could get to it. And yeah. Kalen King nearly made him pay. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, Van Dyke gets a little bit more on that. Pimcino might have a touchdown. As we're going to see Cheney stumble in. He's going to almost get that first down. He's going to force Miami to use their first time out. Third and inches, 10 seconds. Maybe two plays, Lou? What are your thoughts here? Yeah, you got two plays probably for sure. Um, maybe you know, three. With timeouts, maybe you can stretch that. See what they do here. Some they of these guys are real masters with the clock. Four wide receivers, Lafleur in motion. He's going to go back to his original spot. He's going to come back in motion. Nine seconds on the play clock. The floor is going to go back to his original spot. Head games. Cheney on the Texas route. Gets about. Uh, doesn't matter. Five seconds. Seven or eight. Yeah, five seconds. It's going to tick, tick, tick. They're going to go. They're going to go on the chains. Not calling a timeout. Now they're now calling out with three seconds remaining. Might Looks be playing. Like you can see the field goal unit here. Might be playing nice guy to Specta. Put it on his chin. Could be going for the Groza. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see a field goal here. It's going to leave one second on the board. Lame, EA. Lame. One second. That kick didn't take three seconds. Tough to get the girls when you can't get much hang time on your kicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, take this, Lou. Oh, he can't even kick it out of the end zone. Oh, uh, yeah. Deflated because he knows he can't get the girls. He's supposed <laughs> to take off that clock. <laughs> All right, that's going to bring us to halftime. 31 Better luck next year, Borgales. <laughs> Better luck next year. 31 7 for the visitors. We'll browse some stats here. Most likely, heavily favor Miami. Yeah, Miami's done a really nice job um, once their offense got onto the field of taking over this ball game. Yeah, just the turnovers that are killing Penn State. 
Hard to Penn move. State had a really right. nice opening drive. They did. They did. They almost pissed off the Hurricanes or something because after that, the door has been shut. Yeah. Pretty much all Miami. Just the turnovers gets you. But yeah, pretty equal time of possession. The story of this of this half is turnovers. Yeah, it happens. We'll see what they do with this second half. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of options. Try new things. Try new players. This kind of gets non-sweaty here when you're in this position. I've been here many times. It's like, ah, fuck it. Nothing to lose. Let's try this. Let's try this. <laughs> so we're going to see Gucci. And he's going to get Superman tackled. What a tackle. That's going to have their starting field position at the 13. Big field ahead here for the Hurricanes. Yeah, not a great place to start a drive. Nice job by the Penn State kickoff coverage unit. All right, man, that comes out in the shotgun. Ish, pistol, ish. He's going to run the option. He's going to pitch it to Parrish. Kind of a quick early pitch. Could have been a panic pitch. Those get kind of scary. Nittany Lion yeah. defense coming out very fired up in the second half. Much like they were to start the first half of this ball game. And again, like I said about this score about Penn State, they can try new things. Same goes for Miami. They can try things that they probably wouldn't normally feel comfortable with, like what we just saw. Mm -hmm. Second and 13 here. Got some split back action. Three wides. And Dyke is out of the shotgun. Play clock got down to seven. Before he snapped it, Restrepo, great timing on that pass play. He threw that before Restrepo was even in his break for a 14-yard first down reception. These two are on the same page. Yeah, great timing, great trust, and <clears throat> great reaction by Restrepo. Yep. Wow. All right, see what, uh, oh, we got the eye for him. I like it. The fakes to Chaney, the throws to Pimpchino, who's probably pulsing. 13 yard reception. First down, Hurricanes. It's good to see that man, Pimpchino, getting more involved this week. Uh, I know that's been kind of a focus of Coach Rebamp, maybe all season long. constantly seems to be saying, I need to get the tight end more involved. I need to get the tight end more involved. I think tonight we're seeing him get the tight end more involved. Yeah. Probably the best tight end in NWO. He's just mm -hmm. so skilled. As we're going to see, speaking of skilled, Chaney out of the stretch, strong eye. He's finally going to get shoved out, not after he picks up 26. What a run. Yeah, all the way down to the 37 in Penn State territory now. Really looked good there. Got around the corner, hurdled. Yeah, <laughs> jumping full down that sideline. Mm -hmm. See that strong eye again. This time, Penn State says, no, no, no. Robinson's going to bust through and get a TFL. Second 11. Good penetration. It really was, and we've kind of seen... We, we've kind of seen that from this Penn State defense. 
off and on. They've had a, a lot of plays where they've stopped Shaney for no gain or, or minus one yard. Is that what the uh, pen stands for? Penetration in Penn State? Second 11, Van Dyke, under center, four wide. Parrish is going to... Penitentiary. <laughs> Parrish is going to check in, and he's going to get the ball fake. Van Dyke's running for his life. Stops, avoids a diving defender, and finds Restrepo wide open over the middle. Touchdown, Miami. Defender might have dove too early on that play. A couple things Van happened. His footwork was a little bit too clean for it. Mm hmm. The uh, chasing guy on Van Dyke dove early. Safety got Safety there too late. Showed up late. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just those online adjustments that uh, all of us coaches made year one. Kind of like uh, seeing nothing but fastballs and then going online on a 14-year-old game and getting nothing but change-ups. Mm -hmm. You got to adjust. Fam, appreciate that. Change-up is the meta this season. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, 38-7. Halfway through this third quarter almost. Penn State's ball. Playing for pride. Four wide. CV changing things. He had a really good pocket there. Finds his, uh, his buddy this game, Montgomery. That's his Wallace this game. Yeah, Montgomery has been able to find some soft spots in this defense. And uh, Blue has done a nice job of tracking him down and delivering the football to him. I wasn't really looking at the play that Miami picked, but it looked like they ran a zone there for the first time. Yeah, Miami switching it up here. And Rodgers on the deep ball almost, almost gets beat, but makes a play on the uh, defender or on the uh, wide receiver instead of the ball and jars it loose there. That was actually a really good throw by CV, Lou. Yeah, they've been really close to hooking up um, on a lot of pass passes tonight. Just, just this Miami defense is there and makes everything very difficult. Yeah, good awareness by Rodgers to know that he couldn't maybe get to that ball, so he played the uh, wide out. Played the man. We were landing, you know, like... Specta chasing Specta, it looked like there, and CV wisely just chucks her into the stands. It's like looking into the abyss. Mm -hmm. I will say that CV and his O line have done a, either a good job of avoiding or controlling Specta and his friends on this D line for Miami. That's fair. As so we bring up third and ten here. It's just the secondary has got to him. Shotgun. All right on cue. There's Specta. <laughs> Try to eat his lunch. And he forces a bad throw. Fourth and ten. Yeah, I'm not sure that pocket was broken down, though. I think he chose to roll out. and He did. And that's where the, that's... the end Specta disengages and, and becomes uh -huh. a free chaser. Yeah. And that's where his speed comes into play. Penn State, nothing to lose. Going for it on fourth and ten. I would, too. I think he has five wide. Could be four. Must be four. Not four. Singleton's in yep. the backfield. Hard to tell. With them. I'm used to my, my camera angle. Really good pocket. Finds his boy. None other than Ron Montgomery. This time for 24. Probably their biggest hookup of the day. First down Penn State. Yeah, if, if not their longest certainly their most uh, critical is that comes on a big a, fourth and ten. Ballsy throw because uh, Graves, the defender, was right in Montgomery's hip pocket. CV, shotgun, changing things. You know who with a great jump. 
Dove a little early, but his boy, Derek Montgomery, has got his back. That might be the uh, triple crown for Montgomery. Pick, sack, mm -hmm. TFL, he's got it all, doesn't he? Yeah, I think he just needs to return one for a score now. Yeah, he just needs a fumble recovery. Or maybe a forced fumble. He's having himself a day. But uh, shout out you-know-who for timing that snap perfectly and just absolutely blowing that play up again without even being involved in it. He flushed out CV so fast. You know who did that earlier, too. It was crazy. Is that Derek again? Derek Montgomery, I think, got him again. He did on the rollout. It looked like he was trying to throw it away, Lou, but he just couldn't get his hips turned in time. And that's going to bring up third and 27. Hey, if you're not prepared when that hurricane blows in, <laughs> it'll get you. <laughs> and that's Man. maybe what we're seeing here on, on first and second down. Penn State did not board up any windows. They're all broken. It's tragic. Four wide. Mm -hmm. Singleton. In his back or his left pocket. He's going to air it up to his boy Montgomery, but he just air mails it. Double covered, so it's probably for the best that he air mailed that one. But this is going to bring up a long fourth down. This has Eagles Packers vibes. Chill out. <laughs> You would have liked to have maybe gotten something on that third and 27 to make this a little bit less, but here we are, four wide, five wide. You know who trying to time it again. He backs off. It's just a decoy. Airmail, one-on-one. -on -one. Wallace beats Rodgers, but Rodgers runs him down. Tries starting the mower, but he's already down. I mean, down to the five-yard line. What a play. Wow. Found his one-on-one -on -one coverage that he wanted, that he needed. Wallace with the step. Rogers still ran him down, though. Tackled him. Make him earn it. Prayer is answered. Penn State trying to end this 38-point unanswered run. JT special rollout left. Too many hurricanes. Throws it all the way back right, but Kitchens is there. He's going to step in front of somebody and pick that off. Whoo, man. That, that was a JT special if I ever saw one. Whoa. Tragic. Yeah. And that becomes very dangerous. Rolling left, throwing Going right back across clear everything. across the field. In the, you know, in the tight red zone there where everybody's bunch squished inside that, you know, 15 yards. Too many bodies. Yeah. NWO Bakery is open. We got all the turnovers. Mm-hmm. Strong eye from Van Dyke. Lafleur is going to go in motion. He's going to get it on the jet sweep. They are not fooled. Lions pounced. I think he. Gucci Lafleur Jr. Super super speedy, unable to run away from anything on that play. And stay, stay at home very well for that. Three wide to his left. Gucci alone on his right. Cheney in the backfield. Smith in motion to join Lafleur. Evens out the wide receivers. Third and eight. Van Dyke with an amazing pocket. Throws it out, but it's going to be stepped in front of by the cornerback from Penn State, and he's going to pick it off. What a play by that corner. Yeah, really nice defense there. Oh, excuse me, it was a corner. I thought it was an out route. Yeah, nice play. Crowd is still with this Penn State team now. They are. They paid a lot of money for these tickets, and they're staying. And I love it. 
CV changes a couple things, gets a good blitz pickup, finds his boy, the nation's leading receiver, Harrison Wallace. 17 yards, Penn State. First down. We're going to see the hurry up here. Stuck right in there, threaded the needle to Wallace. <laughs> 35 seconds about left in the third. <clears throat> Clock ticking. Good blitz pickup. What a dotty to Montgomery. I don't know if Kitchens didn't pick it up, didn't make a play, but he was just, he played the man. And the man brought it down. Let's see that again. Yeah, he was watching the receiver's eyes. Quarterback threw a nice ball just over the defender's head. The receiver goes up late and gets it. Mm-hmm. All right, Penn State is on the board again. Been a while. We are back. Thirty-eight, fourteen. So we got probably a couple plays till we head into the fourth. It's gonna be I'm returnable. Feeling good. A couple of scores, right? Yeah, this is returnable for the dangerous Lafleur. And looky, looky, right on cue. The kicker slows him down just enough for the other Lions to get back in position and make a play. And crosses the 50 to the 47. Hurricanes start out in Nittany Lion territory. Gucci looked like he was jogging on that return. <laughs> he was, <laughs> I think he was. Sandbagging son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, trips right. Cheney's going to run behind him on the counter. He's going to plow his way for 10. First down, 18 seconds in the third as we move these change. chains. Chains. I mean, he might get in trouble if he gains too many yards. Like, Cheney's got to eat. Those are just yards he's stealing from him, right? Agreed. Got to be a happy balance, you know? And I kind of center the floor in motion. Field. I'm scoring this touchdown. Cheney gets the ball, but the defender, oh, excuse me, wraps him up very well. I think he only got one. Put them fours up. We're going to embark on this fourth quarter with Miami leading 38 14 and the ball, second and nine. Yeah, they've certainly looked like a number two football team tonight, if not better. All right, Van Dyke drops back. Cheney on the screen. The diving, chasing tackler or defender makes the tackle. What a play. Third and ten. Well, they better get used to that if they think they're going to be playing against Syracuse in the national championship. I don't know what you guys are doing Thursday night about 9.30 Central, but we're going to be airing, airing possible Battle of the Big Ten. Or excuse me. I'll tell you after this play. Pimp 12. <laughs> And Dyke drops back. Pimpchino, three lines around. Luckily, yeah. Yeah, luckily it hits the ground for Miami. But yes, Big Ten on the line Thursday night as Oklahoma State rolls into Madtown, Madison, Wisconsin to take on Coach Brusso and his Badgers Thursday, 9.30 Central. That's going to be a fun one. If, big if. If Wisconsin gets upset at home, then the week following they will take on Oregon for the Big Ten. As we're going to see Borgales heard us talking about Groza, so he wants a little piece of it with the 40, what was that, 47, Lou? How far was that? It was 45 I'm plus. I'm not even sure. It was a pile. Could have been a 50 burger. As he's still amped up from that field goal, and he air mills this thing. I think he kicked that to Heinz Field, didn't he? Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. six seventeen left in the fourth. 
He got a little pep talk on the sideline. Penn State down quite a few. Still playing for pride, though. Crowd's still going after it. Love it. Passion buckets are full over here in Penn State. CV shotgun changing things. He's got Singleton holstered on his right. Five seconds on the play clock. Specta gets picked up. Double coverage throw. Sean Taylor Jr. almost had his second interception there. Ball a little underthrown to Wallace. Yeah, Wallace unable to come away with it. Uh, well covered on the play. Very well covered. Hurricane defense is flying to the ball. CV's going to come out strong. I give it to Singleton on the stretch. Good blocking to get that corner. Singleton only gets five. Third and five. five yards. CV is going to bring his troops out. Go under shotgun. He's got trips left. He's going to roll out JT special. It's open. He should take it. And he does. And he dips out. Gets the first. Good job to get the first down on your feet. Avoid any contact. Four wide. Uh-oh. Don't expect to get jumpy over there. He's going to drop back in coverage. You don't see that very often. And he might have made CV hold this ball. What do you think about that, Lou? <laughs> you know, I started <laughs> out with, with that Dark Spectre doing everything wrong. And, you know, he might have done just enough to make that play happen. Uh, that a trick? Did he just pull a little deke, a little trick? Yeah, I don't know if he's like a free spy or what the hell that was. This time he gets a good jump, but Singleton again with the blitz pickup. Mesador misses, but none other than Derek Montgomery. This guy should probably get the game ball. That should be his third sack of the game. Yeah, along with a few tackles for loss he's had. And an interception. He's really showing up. Third and 15 for the home team. Definitely going for it on fourth. Punter probably already showered. Specta gets through, but the right tackle picks him up right at the last second. Rolls out right, but finds you know who again for the second time. That is your sixth turnover for Penn State. 420 on the clock. Spark it if you got it. You know who making it happen. Wow. <laughs> We've all been here. Nothing to beat yourself up. Six seconds left on the play clock before the snap is done, and Parrish is going to get the carry here. Gets three, but pays for it at the end. Second seven. We've all been here. Yeah, this Miami squad can certainly turn into a buzzsaw for any team. Double tights for Van Dyke, who's in the shotgun. 
give is the Parish who runs on the side of the double tights. Wisely. It's a nice little run there for a first down. I think he got like 12. And yeah, does a good job following his blockers. He picks a little seam, pokes his nose in there, and easily gets across the yellow line. All right, first and 10 from the 31. Three and a half and counting on the clock. And Dyke is in the shotgun. He's going to have Smith in motion. Parrish is going to get it, and he's going to get eaten alive by a lion. I think he lost three there. Looks about right. <laughs> Miami working on this clock. Three wide. Restrepo in motion out of the slot. Goes back. Three seconds on the play clock. Oh, the snap with one second left. The counter uh, is to Franklin Jr. It's uh, about three. It'll be third and seven. Might continue to see some players we don't normally see in here because of the scenario. Well, it's good to get some guys work and <clears throat> see who else is going to be able to make the jump for this squad. Strong eye. Play clock under five. Parrish is going to get the carry on the stretch in there. And it's all over there. It's just a foot race to the end zone. He's going to dive short. To kill this clock. Really, really nice dive. Um, I don't know if he could have dealt with any later and not score. No. One second, one inch later, and that's a touchdown. Dyke on the read option. Cheney's going to walk it on in. Touchdown, Miami. I'm catching it. 47. Extra point will be 48. Minute 30 remaining here. Are you catching on to what just happened? Who was carrying the ball when he dove and who got the touchdown? <laughs> 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 Let's get them Heismans in chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. One will Heisman, one will perish, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? I love it. 48-14, minute and a half. Wallace lets this go. It's going to be caught about the five, and he still let it go. Tell us the type of day Penn State's had right there. Mm -hmm. They are ready to go. <laughs> I get it. Crowd's got some life in them, though. I'm oh, proud of their squad. Rightfully so. CV comes out in the shotgun. Oh, that pocket closed quick, but yet again, Nick Singleton to save the day. Buy him enough time to find Eminem for a first down. Mm -hmm. I want to see what Nick Singleton's blocking is. This dude's unbelievable back there. Hurry up, in effect. 
Beck is still looking for his first sack. He's hungry. He spins off the tackle, but Singleton picks him up. The throw rolling out left, not great. Incomplete, nine cloud on the coverage. Second 10. Haven't called his name much tonight. Mm -mm. Haven't really thrown his way. Oh, we're going to see a uh, new quarterback here for Penn State. He's going to roll out left and not be able to get away with it. Get it off, I should say. Third and ten. They'll stop the clock with a minute six left. Yeah, Vaughn, that awareness has to be high, too, the way he picks those blocks up. That one, that one blitz pickup was absolutely unbelievable. Specta gets upended, though. Still in pursuit. There's your boy, Nine Cloud. Great pass and catch, though, by Penn State. I believe that was an outer crossing. Midfield, first and ten. Yeah, beyond the sticks. Getting out of bounds. Looks like a Penn State working a nice little practice two minute drill, maybe. Mm hmm. This is like a live lab. This is perfect. CV's back. Not sure if he was getting a breather or what. But he's been trying out a new guy. Who knows? He's going to roll out left. He's going to throw it back right. And I think they're going to roll that. Out of bounds, but Nine Cloud with the great coverage and nearly intercepts it. Yeah, I don't think he was able to get his feet down in bounds. I think he picked that ball off. He definitely he caught it. But yeah, you're right. Getting the feet down was the problem. Nice play regardless. As that brings up second and ten. I think CV would have learned last time rolling out left, throwing back right. He's going to air it out. Nine Cloud, though, with the uh, speed. Spin around SWAT breaks up the play. Good throw, though. I thought that could have been completed if uh, your boy wasn't in there, Lou. Yeah, he looked like he <clears throat> rolled around, was doing the backstroke or something. He just got a hand up and in there. Yeah, just when you think he's, like, lost or out of the play. There he is, getting his ass back into that play, making it happen. Third and ten, shotgun, trips left. Man, all alone, mega all alone on the right. And he got off the line, had nine cloud, but the throw was just complete garbage. Tragic. Fourth and yeah, ten. Yeah, I think <laughs> Graves might pick that ball off if Cloud doesn't knock it out of his hands. Yeah, I'm replaying it again. Watch how open he gets off this line. He's got three yards on him, but that ball just flat. Not Tragic. where it needs to be. Good help side by that safety, I believe you know who. Yeah, you know who. Fourth and ten. CV shoddy. Good pocket, only three blitzing linemen, and he's going to find Miami, and he's going to tie Vaughn's record. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, that was. That was definitely in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. He's got a big neighborhood. Two big old cul-de-sacs, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everybody go pick up Zach Wilson on your fantasy football team. All right, eight seconds. I form. Give to Parrish. He's just going to stand in the backfield because I don't think he can do quarterback kneel. <laughs> and that should end her. Parrish gave him a six yard Very loss to end the game. <laughs> yeah. Tragic. Tough to bring down. 
even in a give yourself up situation. No, we just push the button, spec the ball goes where it wants. <sighs> That'll wrap us up here in Happy Valley. They are not very happy as number two Miami rolls in. Penn State it's scored. Go ahead, Lou. Yeah, 48-14 is the final. I was just going to say Penn State scored first, and then Miami reeled off 38 unanswered, and then Penn State scored again. Yeah. What a game. What up, Pamps? What up, Coach Revamp? Good game. Uh, team firing on all cylinders. Anything you didn't like? What exactly did you like the most? Go ahead. Well, yeah, overall, I mean, defense definitely came – came out today to to show up you know they they definitely wanted to win the game for us offense looked good but i think our defense overall really won us the game yeah indeed those seven turnovers were massive anything you want to pr improve on moving forward as you uh take on iowa at home i mean obviously yeah we turned the ball over once that was a really good User pick by Spect mm -hmm. on the left side. Mm -hmm. And then there was a couple more that we could have thrown that, you know, just didn't yeah. go his way. So, oh. you know, obviously we want to clean those up. The one to Pimp Chino sticks out on that corner out that was short. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, there was a few of them. There's definitely at least three interceptions that he could have had. So those are things that I definitely want to try to clean up. I thought Dark Specta did a good job of containing Dark Specta. He was, <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was a presence, but he wasn't like four sack presence like we're used to. Nah, I think most of it was Specta was rolling out to the left the whole time. So really Montgomery, my right outside linebacker and my right end, they were the ones that came away with the sacks today, the right side. Or, I mean, his offensively is the left side. Yeah, I think old Derek should get the game ball. Good game, Coach. Good luck against Iowa. Lou, all yours? Yeah, Parrish uh, had a nice run and gave himself up on the one-yard line so Cheney could uh, yeah, that was... <laughs> talk, talk a little touchdown. Is that is that to have Heisman implications, or, or is that just the way it worked out? No, nah, to be 100% honest with you, I tried to like do the whole give yourself up thing and then wanted to kneel the ball out, but I know I uh, heard a stream the other day where y'all were like, oh, it's convenient. You can't call special teams. But for some reason, my playbook keeps fucking up. And I can't call special teams out of my playbook. It's only when coach suggests that shit. So I was trying to just kneel it out, kick a field goal. But since I fucking ended up on the one-yard line, I was like, well, I guess I'll just run this bitch in. Mm-hmm. Well, fair enough. I mean, that's really all I got. I look forward to seeing you next week. Great job tonight. Everybody um, looked like they were playing. They were at full stride. So look forward to seeing what you got against Iowa and beyond. Yeah, it's going to – yeah, Iowa will be a tough <laughs> matchup next week. I know JT has been pumping on all cylinders all season. Got that team looking good, and he's been waiting to play me. So He's pumping be all right. a fun one. Yeah, he – <laughs> I think he's coming to Miami though, right? Oh yeah, you're going home, baby. Party in the city with the heat is on all night on the beach mm -hmm. of the break of dawn. Yeah, right, I mean boy. you should you should do that thing where you scrub all your computers of spyware and shit. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> JT's putting in the de the depacking on you, I think. Hey. You notice cool. that, tr that drone that's been flying outside your house? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Hover hovering around your backyard and shit, yeah. spying? spying? Yeah, that's that's probably him. So. Why do you think he got sick last week? God damn. <laughs> God damn. I thought it was because school started back up. My girl brought home some damn schoolhouse sickness. Got me clapped up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, I appreciate that's reasonable. You, that's what she wants you to believe. Like... <laughs> Right. <laughs> uh, well, great job, Coach. We'll catch you next week. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all, pimps. As always, Specta is a good uh, time. I mean, first time, you don't know what to expect. Next time, you'll, you know, 
You you started gaining a little bit there second half. First half was a little a little crazy, but second half you start getting it down and scoring and moving, but I love y'all pimps. Y'all have a good one. Appreciate you revamp. Specta, how we feeling? Sheesh. This is what happened when you played a two time. <laughs> Mr. Two time. <laughs> a secondary no joke. Yeah, they get to the spot before the wide receiver get there. Hell, before the ball get there. They already there. Sheesh. A few of those look like they were CV's fault. He was kind of flat on some of his throws. Yeah, short hopped a lot. Dude storm short quite a bit, but dudes running chasing the my wide receivers are probably faster than my wide receivers, so that helps too. Ron Montgomery looked good. What positives you take away? Big time game, big time spot. Of course, we one team played big time, the other one kind of didn't. So you know, that's never great, but have to do better moving forward. That's all you can do. GG's pimp, Lou. Nice showing tonight. Um, a lot of positives you can take moving forward. Um, have you patched all your holes with recruiting? Mm. How, what's the plan for next year? Try to just get better in all areas. Mm -hmm. Space is what we need. Well, keep your head up. Keep plugging away. Things will start coming together. Yeah, yeah it was quite uh, the experience. You got a good recruiting class. You got a good recruiting class coming in. Any gems you're looking forward to? Uh, uh, trying not to get snuck, but somebody going to get snuck regardless. So, you know, we'll see how it works out. That's the league. Yeah, good call, pimps. Good game, revamp. Nice work, boys.